Good morning, everybody. It's Nikki and my Heather. Co-host. Today is March 12, 2020. It's a Thursday. I'm yeah. coming to you from Berlin, Wisconsin. And I'm coming to you from Southern California. And it's very wet outside. It's raining here today, too. It's raining. My boys are probably very mad. <laughs> yeah, which is highly unusual here. Day uh, late. Sorry about that, guys, but we had some stuff come up yesterday. Yeah. Nothing so. major, just a little. Just life. Yeah. So we would like to welcome new and returning viewers. Thank you for sending a piece of your morning with us, or, well, it's morning for us Our now. Our evening, but. <laughs> or whenever you're watching us. Yeah, whenever. Um, we appreciate you guys coming and seeing what we're up to. And then, on talking about that, I forgot to mention this earlier to you, Heather, before we started, but we're we're at 80 subscribers, and I'd love to hit 100 and do a giveaway with, you know, some, some of our products that we make and something extra special. So let's try to get that up there. So if you're not subscribed, yeah. please hit that subscribe to us so you can get notified when we're here. Yeah, and um, I mean, if you like our what podcast, then um, please hit the like button and share. Um, it does help to get us out there, and you know, it helps if we're if anybody's searching for any knitting videos or knitting podcasts or podcast in general it helps to get us out there into the search in search engines so um yeah like and i mean i don't want to set a a date but i mean if we can get to 100 soonish you know <laughs> the next month we could get something together i think so i thought that was pretty exciting yeah, I didn't even. I don't. So we've gotten a lot of new followers over on Ravelry as well, and that's great because with the knit alongs, you have to join the Ravelry group so that we can. I mean, the ones that are on Ravelry, you have to join there for it to be a yeah. part of it. So we thank you very much. Yeah, so, that's a huge thing for us. Admin stuff. We had some closing of some cows and we had some openings of the new ones um do you want to start with the one that closed for you heather sure so um i'm looking it's next to me but i'll show it later so the myra i'm not going to show it now it's part of my fos right uh the myra ended um ended yesterday yesterday well it ended at Went. midnight on the 10th so no tuesday yeah yeah um uh, so it ended yeah it ended on the 10th and we had um two entries from the same person from Brittany b wing so yay thank you Brittany, for participating um i haven't gotten a chance to look at your hats but nikki did <laughs> so um, go over and and take a look at them i'm sure they're adorable so you are winning a bag being sent by nikki so please get in contact with her um for your address and i'm sure she, do you have her address you've sent I her do. Before. i do okay I do. so but get in contact with me and we'll get together on what bag you won yeah do you have one I'm going to I'm gonna let you pick out one of the new styles that I just made. The little hobos. They're great for hats and small projects. The inside is kind of big. I have, right now I have nine skeins of minis in there with my little works in progress, but it's great for little projects. I had my this hat in this bag first. Mm. And then... Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's the style. Um, she can send you some possible fabric options or yep. whatever. So let her know what you like. And thank you for participating. We are going 
to start, um, not probably not now, but um, I haven't even talked to Nikki about this. So she's looking at me like, what are you talking about? Um, like, where are you taking me? Um, I want to do more hat knit alongs. So, or yeah, not because they're great gifts for Christmas, but cows. So, yeah. We'll let you know when that is. We need to get some stuff off the needles first. <laughs> as we add more to the needles. As we both added more this week. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have a lot. New, some progress to show you guys. <laughs> um, I will go with this. I'll go with the next cal that ended, which was January, February, sock it to me. And I put up the new page yesterday. Sorry, I was a little late. Uh, life got away for me. But it is up there. People have started entering for March, April. Yeah. And the winner for that was number 14, which was Raven Diva. And that's Tyra from Chicago. So both winners from Illinois. That's unusual. And I'm going to insert a picture hopefully right here. But her socks were really cute. They were um, self-driving from oh, cool. Desert Vista Dye Works. And the colorway was Starberry Shortcake. So they're really cute. And they were red and yellow. Um, and again, get in contact me, Tara. Tyra, sorry. Tara just texted me, sorry. But Tyra, get in contact with me, and I will also be, because these are great for socks, I will show you some, and you can pick one. Um, and send me your address, and I'll get that out to you. So that mm -hmm. is, we both have a couple more knit-alongs to talk about. Yep. Me next? Yep. Okay. So we drew for a winner for the Get Her Done for February. Correct. Um, and that winner was Deborah, Doc Firewoman. So when you see this um, episode, please get in contact with me and I will be sending out a Ravelry pattern. It doesn't have to be Ravelry. I shouldn't say Ravelry. We, I will be sending you a pattern of your, <clears throat> of your choice for $7 or less. Um, and guys, don't forget to enter in stuff if you finish stuff that's been on your needles for a while. Yeah. I mean, if it's if it's a whip that is has I don't want to say like no, I mean, we're we want it to be more than, like, three stitches on your needles. You know what I mean? Like, a bind off or yeah. whatever. But, like, I don't want to be, like, the police where we're, like, okay, you know. Use your judgment. You guys know. This isn't, this isn't quite 50% done or whatever. You know what I mean? Use your judgment. And if it's a, if it's a long-standing whip that we encourage you to pull out and finish in, a, in hopes of, win, of winning a prize... Then enter it in. Yeah, because that's what I'm doing this week, guys. I just saw a new knit along come out, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get that off my needles now. Yeah, me too. So. Which I am over 50% done, but whatever. <laughs> and she didn't say 50%. She just said if it was a sweater. So. Yeah, and we're talking about uh, Drea Re Renee Knits yep, has a knit along about. this weekend for her sweater patterns to get done. So. Yep, and it goes all the way to May 22nd. I know that. Oh, I thought it was just this weekend. No, her her patterns are only on sale this weekend. Just the sweaters or any just pattern? Just the sweaters. 25% off this weekend. Oh, that's good. So. That's good percentage. It can be new or outstanding whips from her. Yeah. And but for us, it's... Um, the weekender we both have weekenders on the needles we do yeah. so mine is very very close to being done mine is not <laughs> mine definitely is not no but i feel like if you sat down and and seriously worked on it right right i, could, I think that i could if i seriously sat down and worked on it i think it could take me only a couple couple times of at least getting to the split for the front and back and then hopefully I don't get on sleeve island like I did on 
others. Yeah, I mean, if you if you seriously sat down and, and knit on it, I think that it would take you right a week, a week and a half to finish it. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. It's not. It's a worst to waste sweater. So, anyways, then, we digress. Yes, Deborah, we do. contact me. <laughs> and then I have the gnome, um, any gnome pattern crocheted or knitted. Um, ends the 31st of this month along with Arkansas Yarn Co because we're co-hosting with them and so if you use her yarn you get double entries in both mine ours and over in Arkansas Yarn Co's so yeah you've got half the month to finish those up guys um and then you have one you have one more yep Stephen West okay and I have one more. Yeah. So we are doing the year of Steven. Um, this is any of his patterns that, and you could, this could also work as a whip too. It's not necessarily, you had to start them, you know, at January 1st, whatever. Uh, any Steven West pattern that you enter is a chance for a prize. This will be a quarterly prize draw. So we'll pod, we'll draw for the first prize the first podcast of April, yep. and you so you have until that to enter for this round of drawing, and going forward it will be from two, so in April it'll be from two to whatever we have, and then it'll be from the next number to whatever is done in yep. the next draw, and then the you know at the end we'll. Draw one the grand one. finale will start from two to Whatever. the end. Yeah. And then, of course, the scrappy along we have going on right now. And mm-hmm. the first quarter of that one will also end, you know, obviously on March thir- uh, 31st. And yes. I will draw the first um, random prize at that time in April. So mm-hmm. get your scrappy projects up there. And that's all I have to say about admin today. And that too will be, yeah, will, yeah. That's will go the same way as the Stephen Rest. So, we're gonna take a brief pause, and we will be right back. I can't even start. All right, we're back. <laughs> After many technical difficulties, we've recorded this segment three times now. So we are talking about FOS. I have one. Nikki has four. Six. Six. Four? Six. But I'm going first because I let her go first the other two times and (laughs) lost all that. So Uh, my only work or my only FO is my Meyer hat, which is this beautifulness. I love how that ended up, though, in the stripes. Me, too. I didn't even try. And I was a little worried when I got to the ribbing here that it wouldn't stay. But right, it would start stay. to pull. Yeah, there's a little pull in here. But not I bad. Like, yeah, not, not, not bad I at all. I love that pom-pom, too, like with the orange tips. Me, too. Kim sent me this pom-pom, and I'm going to put it on for you. Which it shouldn't even be in her possession right now. Her daughter, I would have thought, would have sold this from her. No. She hasn't stolen it for me because Aunt Nikki's knitting her a Jughead hat. Yep, I want to start tonight, but we're not telling E. No, she'll never let us knit anything else if we tell her. Right. So, this is it. It has a little bit of a slouch, but not But it's decent, though. Yeah, I think it looks good. Yeah, it does. You look good in that. I don't like it with the pom-pom. I said, it's not for you. So it's good you don't like it. Right. So that's so, it. All right. I can't stop looking at it. I'm done now. Go ahead. I have my just class, guys, for the two weeks that we were gone. And, well, these are face scrubbies. These are dish class. So I know they look like the same as last time. Well, that's because the cone is huge. Then you should I have... show the cone one time. The what? You should show the cone one time. I can do that. It's right here. Oh, I didn't mean like this time. It's fine. I'll never remember otherwise. 
So there's the cone. Mm-hmm. It's getting there. I would say probably another, I don't know. I'm going to guess eight weeks. Really? <laughs> probably. Oh, wow. Um, and this is my other FO, my hat, which is the Queen Bee by Hypnotic Yarns. The color, the yarn itself was dyed by Hannah Made It. And her so lovely. She does have some over in her shop. And I just love this colorway. It's hot pink with hot orange with specks of black. Um, the hat literally took me only 24 hours to knit. And there is a knit along going on for it over on Arkansas Yarn Co. Ravelry and Hypnotic Yarn over on Facebook. Coupon code for the hat is over on Ravelry with Arkansas Yarn Co. And it's for stomping out bullying and there's a description about why and everything else like that that you can read over on the pattern on Ravelry. As far as I know, that's the only place she is selling the pattern. Mm -hmm. So, and she's got this, they've got this knit along going until the 31st. So, plenty of time to get one in there. It's fingering held double or a DK. March 31st? Uh Mm Yeah, Uh, yeah, I didn't even see the the knitting process to cast on nothing. All I saw was CFO. And then my last. That fast. Well, that's what happens when everything starts going bad for you on other projects and you start ripping everything off of your needles because you're just upset with it all. Yeah, we were on Zoom the other night and she went into, like, she was in her room and then she went into her room that she sits, like, that she's in right now. And, like, we were just talking, me, her, and Kim, and, like, all of a sudden she just starts ripping stuff out. I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm clearing my needles. These aren't make, bringing me joy anymore. I was like, okay. All right, I'm just here for the show. Go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, I I cleared off three gnomes. I took them out. Um, so you won't be seeing the mystery knit along gnome for me at, at all because I didn't like it. Because right now where my headspace is, I just couldn't do it. It's a very cute pattern. I love everybody's that I've seen. It just wasn't for me right now. Not I in the headspace. Yeah, I think that the yarn that you chose, you just kind of grabbed and went, and you didn't really. And so, and then I took off two shawls. Um, One was the Odyssey, Mm -hmm. and I just didn't like the colors I chose for it. Um, That's not what I bought that yarn for, Mm -hmm. so it wasn't bringing me joy. Um, And then the other one was uh, Cozy Up. Drop it like it's hot. And when I started that, that I messed up the lace so bad that I stopped working on it. And so I should just, I pulled it out and put it back in its bag with the needles. I'm going to restart it. I just not right now. Yeah. So my other FO is my sweater. It's so faded by Andrew Mowry. And we started this in December as I scrappy along all of us um together and I got to well besides Heather didn't want to start it there was two other people who didn't start it till after December too but um they're still working on theirs now and all I needed was my neckband and from here to here where I decided to go so that's my only change is I didn't I was doing the three-quarter length and then once the decrease has stopped I decided that's where I wanted my ribbing not down here because I didn't know how I'd feel about my sweater ending here I I kind of thought like you know how high waters are that that's how I'd feel about my sweater sleeve <laughs> so I was like I don't think I can go past my elbow guys so I will stand up and all the yarns were um knitting friends and uh Arkansas Yarn Co um my advent. yeah my advent but I only did shades of blue from so. Vani and Kim, eighteen. Yeah, I, 18 yeah, I so I love it. It's nice and soft and warm, but not too warm. So I can totally see myself making another one mm-hmm. and actually making full length sleeves for winter time. Mm-hmm. So I might do it. I might not. I don't know. Now that she has I- that knit along going along, I could. I could see me wanting to cast another one on. Yeah. 
I do want to make a so faded, but I want to make it faded. Like not. Right. I'd have to look at the yardage and see what I have that could maybe fade into each other. Like a true fade. Mm -hmm. Because I think it needs, well, I don't know how many scans I've named. I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, saying that, but I also want to make the, um, Didn't you want to make one of her cardigans that you just saw? Yeah, I want to make the cardigan too, but I can't remember what the name of it is, but um, I want to make the faded cardigan. What is that? Faded so cardigan? faded? No, that's the so faded. Okay, then this is the so faded uh, comfort fade. Comfort, see, cardi, something like that. Oh, Whatever it's called. There's oh, too many that. faded. I know. So, anyways, whatever. We're that's not. We're digressing point. again. Yeah, we do that. So, should so we pause here and go to a, our other one? Yeah, we'll take a quick break and then we'll go yeah. to whips. And we're back, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, this time without any technical difficulties, because I don't think my little brain can handle anymore today. Knock on wood. Right. Um, I'm going to start with whips because I have six going right now. So I only have four in my little new hobo bag. I showed you earlier, kind of, but this is my stitch in time and I'm behind. So I only got six of the blocks done for, um, February. So what's your goal? Huh? What's your goal? One, one square a month. So nine square, nine, so nine squares. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you so not? Do you count the block done if it has the borders on it? No, I'm not doing the borders till the end because I'm still undecided on what kind of border I want to put on it. Like, oh, so like legitly just the nine squares. Yeah. Okay. And yep. you have. Because I know that it's gonna take me at least two years to get to a decent size for a lap throw even. So, and I will pick this one. You haven't started March's block? No. Okay. Because I'm still behind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't, uh, the last progress I showed, I did put a progress keeper. Yay, me. I and a Heather's. So, this is, what is this? This is Secret Pass. And I got to the first, I don't know if you guys can see the color change there, but not I really. love it. I'm not that far on it. If I st- stop casting things on, I could be farther. Maybe. Maybe. Your turn. Okay. First up for me is Gabriel's sweater. Sorry for the clinking. I did not untangle this before I started. So I am knitting my five-year-old son the Twisted Trails. I think it's just called the Twisted Trails sweater. It might be the Twisted Trails hoodie. It is a hooded sweater. But um, anyways, I don't know. I can't think. I can't remember what it's called. So this is one. This is it. (coughs) I'm using Red Heart Maroon. I like that a lot. The cable. And um, I love this yarn, graphite. So this is one full repeat. This is one section of the chart. Hold it down a little bit. There you go. Um, (laughs) But I love those cables. Me too. I love them too. And they're not complicated. And it is written out too. Oh, but I. I'm pretty sure that this sweater is from Knit Picks. Okay. I think it's on Knit Picks website. But, I mean, it might be on Ravel too. I haven't checked. I'm knitting this. I'm doing the size 6 for him because I'm knitting a cable sweater. It's going to last him a while. Yeah. Um, and I'm knitting it on size 7s. Nice. Is he excited? Um, No. <laughs> He doesn't. He doesn't pay attention. 
He doesn't care. All right. Hector's jealous. Is he? But. Well, I, I just think I that just means you need jealous. to knit Hector another sweater. No. No? Okay. No. I tried Hector. I, I, tried. One. I just made him one. That took I tried. Me two years, so. So. I will insert a picture, but this was my sweater, my noni. And somehow I had picked up and went the wrong direction and then kept going for six inches and realized that I was doing it wrong. And that's why there were the, my gauge had changed. Wait. So I ripped it all off. Yeah. I had put it down in the middle of the road to let the dog out. Oh. Came back, thought I was on the pearl side, so I started dropping my yarn overs. What? Then I just kept going, and then I'm like, why is this so wonky? Oh, I guess my gauge changed because maybe I was in a better mood. No. 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 Okay. So it was driving me nuts. So I restarted, and this is all we get. It'll eventually be a sweater. And then I lost my other two balls of yarn and I tore apart this room trying to find them because I knew that I had it put up. I found them yesterday. So I'm okay now. Okay. Crisis diverted. Well. I'll show my fuchsia next then. I wasn't going to. But... I'm sorry. You ready? I'm ready. Yay for cast ons. <laughs> That's and it. She, ripped, she ripped her noni out. You have to oh, bring it down here. Sorry, hang on. That's it. I had like I I tore it out. I'm now moved on to another sweater. I'm no longer doing the noni at all. I love the Noni. It's a beautiful sweater. It's not have anything to do with the Noni. No. At some point in my life, I will knit the Noni. I just could not deal with six inches of that lace, front and back, and then join it around. That was too much for me. So for my stitches sweater, I am now going to be doing the SD by... Uh, I'll put the name down below and um, yeah sorry puppy it is that's what my sweater will be because I can't it's easier for me to wrap my brain around and that's okay sometimes patterns are just not meant to be for that yarn it happens and that was one of them we have a visitor a cooper <laughs> cooper we cooper, have a visitor cooper. Mama's okay. She's fine. Yes. Cooper. Not... She's like, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The dog, the dog just comes in when he wants. Mm -hmm. Last time you saw this, I had a bunch of work on it. It was my Asher's shawl by Hohe. And Cooper jumped on my lap like he just did there. And I lost four to six stitches I can't remember and it was during the lace and they went and I could not get them back being in mohair and so then I tried to take it apart so I can only work on this when I can lock the dog away by my husband or child and that I'm not talking to anybody of my friends <laughs> so so, you can see the progress that she's made because she likes us too much. Yeah. I'm going to have to cut off my friends for a little while one day. <laughs> they get through the lace. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a sad day when that happened. Words it was very... out of her mouth that were not appropriate. But now they don't come out of my mouth because I'm on my, 40, my 60 days of no behaving. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if I could say behaving. That's stretching it. You're uh -huh. on no cussing. Yes. And look at that gorgeous green. 
I'm trying not to let the needles hit the table, but they're metal needles, sorry. So my second to last whip is I'm doing a shrug again out of my Irish Rain um, Soft and Sleek DK from Hobby Lobby. I have moved up a needle size, actually two needle sizes, I think. I think and so. I went down a size um, in the pattern. And um, yeah, so this is what I have so far. It's beautiful there you go that is really pretty yeah i love the way that this color is knitting up it is so tonal and so beautiful i love it so i just started this yesterday um i put an order in at knit picks i wanted the um the new metal needle set that they came out with the right the colored ones but those were on back order until Jan- uh, July. No thanks. So I wasn't going to wait that long. My husband gave me the green light to buy new needles. So I was like, I only have this for a short amount of time. I need to take advantage of it. Right. So I just ordered tips and cords. Like <laughs> tips that I use. Or sizes right. that I use the most of. I got five, six, seven, eights. And then I got 24, 32, and 40 inch cords to go with them um and that's what came in the mail on tuesday tuesday yeah and i cast on two new things yesterday <laughs> <coughs> sorry guys and kim's trying to let me make me cast on more oh but, my so oh my yeah so. that's my stroke again then I pulled out finally after not knitting on it for a month. Um, uh-oh. Our crocheting, crocheting. My crappy, I have it all bound up so you can see the progress. So last time in January I was here. This morning I put on uh, two, eight rows. So I plan on catching up for February and then starting March right away this week what is your um marker um this was from i got in a pack from laura concert when my dad died last year so she sent me a couple of things in the mail i don't know it who's is it a sheep? it's a sheep it's a yarn ball sheep oh okay yeah it's there you go i think it was i don't know it's a glittery one. I know. It's. I don't know whose it is. is the, the, she uses them a lot. She uses them for the, her crochet hooks, too. The name is, like, on the tip of my tongue, and I can't think of what it is. But Laura Concert is a crocheting hoovian. Yes. Um, she has podcasts here on YouTube as well. And guys are. Yeah. She's lollipop yarn. Lollipop yarns. Lollipop girl yarns. Lollipop girl yarns. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Anyways. Ooh, I just pulled on my string. Yeah, I don't have the strings. We've she doesn't on. have like, her ends woven in. I do, but not on the bind off of the neck, the sleeves, and yeah. Every other end is woven in. This but. bag is loud. I'm sorry. You're good. I'm getting my last project. So. Me too, because we're doing the same thing. Yep. You're just farther than I am. A lot farther than I am. No, no. Kim is a lot farther than us. Like, a lot farther. Oh, no. Okay, you're not that much farther than me. No. So, that's where I'm at. I just started the little cable section down here. Mm. This is where I am. It's so pretty, though. It's working up really nice. I'm still in this, um, I guess it's a twisted, or it's a, yeah, twisted rib section. Yep. So you're only two sections behind me. Well, one and a half, because I'm halfway through, yeah. Yeah. 
So. so we are we're making all these things to have with us at Stitches. Stitches Midwest. And fingers crossed that they still host it. They're going to. Still host it. So this is in my Nikki bag that she made for me for Christmas. All of my seven skeins are in here. And I have my bell from Arkansas Yarn Co. Which makes it look. <laughs> yep. Well, we're making the fantastic stitch. That's what it, yep, I was going to say. We <laughs> forgot something somewhere. <laughs> we're making Oops. the fantastic stitch by Stephen West. Um, it's me, Nikki, Kim. Vani. Vani. And I know LaRue was up in the air if she was going to do it. Yeah, we're trying to convince as many of them to knit it. That are coming to stitches with us. Well, yeah. that we're all going to meet in stitches. Yeah, they're not necessarily traveling with us, but no. we're going together. So, yeah. Oh, all Lisa's those... knitting it too. Oh, yeah, Lisa. Yep. So, we're going to have our fuchsia sweaters. This. Our adventure. And the adventure wrap. That I'm trying to convince Kim and Heather to cast on this weekend with me. And they I love just, that yarn. They are participating well with me. I told her I would do it if I had my yarn, but I don't have my yarn. And I'm and Stephen West has to slow down on his because he releases another shawl tomorrow. But I really want to start too. So well, I thought he released it today. No, it's tomorrow. Oh. So. I want to cast everything on and but yet everything's giving me anxiety on my needles so I need to like slow down sorry phone call again your worries so, um, I have nothing for acquisitions I've behaved all I have is my needles that I'm not I mean all that I've gotten is my needles but I'm not going to bore you guys was, I told you what I got right. I got two of each set of tips um, and then one of the cords. And I got. I'm not purchasing, six. I don't think, anytime soon. Yeah. I, got I six really want to stay to just festivals. Uh, I got six and eight and 16 inch for hats. And now she's on a hat kick. She wants to get yeah. all the hats. They're so freaking cute. Look at this. And they, and they finish quick. Yeah. So. And no, honestly, though, like, as much as this hat was like scary when I first started it, I could knit it at baseball. Which nice. Is, I mean, despite the rain right now, baseball season starting on Saturday. So we're going to be in baseball until mid to end. The rest of your life? Well, yeah. But this season will be the <laughs> mid to end of May. So I mean, I could knit hats at baseball, and then, like you said, they're good um, Christmas presents. Yeah. So. So. My that's the only thing I was going to talk about was my <laughs> knits. Is I'm going to decide which one of the four sister toques I want to make. Because yeah, I, I don't use that. In my future time. knits, except for the adventure. So. Yeah, it will end the adventure, but I don't know when I'm going to start that. I need to decide which um, uh, sheepies whirl I want to use and right. order two skeins of it. So, all right. I have no shop update. I don't have any shop update coming right now with um, anything. I just updated the shop this last week. So there's plenty of new bags over there. Um mm -hmm. I won't be updating until probably April now. I don't think. I don't know. It's going to depend on how the weather and everything goes around here right now. I'm trying to keep everybody safe and non-sick. Yeah. Um, I think for me, for my Easter slash spring, should, uh, should be up next Monday. Oh, I will be popping a couple Easter bags in, yeah. But other than that, um, 
Uh, I will insert pictures of new baby at the end. I had my second cousin had their baby. The second cousin that's pregnant. There we go. Because we had four, so we're now we have just two left coming. Sheila was born uh, last week, Friday, and is doing much better now. So I will pop a picture in. I have nothing more. Nothing more, nothing less. Just show. Nope. So I will talk to you all in two weeks. We will talk to you all in two weeks. We, <laughs> us, whatever. I'm not good with words right now. I'm like hungry for lunch. <laughs> I know, yeah, lunch time. All right, so enough with the technical difficulties. With all the technical difficulties, this has taken longer than it should have. So see y'all in two weeks. All right, bye. Bye.